Tropical RV sales on US1 and Fort Pierce. Taking a look at this brand new Wilderness uh, upgraded ultralight travel trailer. Uh, it's a great product, good looking product inside and out, a lot of upgraded features, and uh, really you get a lot for your money in this in this product. And there's a lot of upgrades uh, to talk about that you wouldn't see at first glance, and we're gonna be discussing some of those. Uh, one thing, uh, really important that you need to know is it is an aluminum framed unit so this is not wood framed this is upgraded welded aluminum framing uh, plus most of the structural components are laminated very dense uh, block foam insulation uh, the roof on this unit is what they call a curvy linear roof so it's got a nice pronounced crown on the top of the roof and then it's got an arch on the inside and you have seven foot ceiling height on this unit with that crown plus it doesn't um, make it you know, extremely tall on the outside. Uh, but it is full foam roof, uh, very strong, very dense foam, full walk-on roof, um, yet lightweight. And then same thing with the floor, very strong laminated floor, um, very true. You don't have the, the dips and the highs and the lows and the creaks and the squeaks. And then the sidewalls here, these are actually a full thickness, two inch uh, thick sidewall. Uh, vacuum bonded laminated construction so you have aluminum framing you have dense block foam insulation and then this unit has the upgraded fiberglass exterior which is a nice silver uh, color so the the two inch sidewalls are basically as thick as they they commonly get and not till you get into the big heavy expensive uh, fifth wheel market so these are very very thick walls very strong yet with the aluminum framing and the vacuum body construction keeps the weight down this unit here the model uh, 2775 rb uh, the way you see it comes in at 6330 pounds okay so it's still within the uh, weight limitations of a lot of your uh, half ton vehicles you know your bigger suvs and your half ton trucks uh, when they're properly equipped so you don't have to have the big trucks for most of these these wilderness trailers uh, this is a great floor plan and we're going to do a walk around i'm going to show you some of the uh, features inside and outside uh, starting here at the front we have a really nice looking fiberglass front cap uh, painted front cap so it's an automotive finish clear coat uh, but it's a gel coat fiberglass with the paint as well and it's a very thick high-end uh, nose piece here with the LED marker lights at the top and it's got a real nice uh, logo and color scheme to it and then down below here very functional uh, matching rock art so that's going to take the uh, rocks and road debris from the truck and a uh, very functional piece there now on the front here we have uh, two LP tanks automatic changeover regulator so when one tank goes empty it's automatically going to start pulling from the other one so you, you don't lose uh, power to your LP components that you're running like most importantly your fridge probably you don't want to lose your uh, fridge if you got food in it so when one tank goes empty it'll automatically switch over to the other tank that's an important feature plus you have this nice handy hatch here to access your LP valves um, without removing the cover now back here we include a deep cycle RV marine battery it's got a place to hold two and then you do have this handy uh, hitch light out front as well Kind of take a look at this front cap now a uh, really nice big pass-through storage on this model and you can see how nicely finished it is just like the interior of the coach you don't have wires and 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 parts hanging down and you can see here this is actually a really strong uh, laminated ceiling to this compartment and that's actually the part of your bed platform so very strong piece you won't have to worry about you know the weight on the bed sagging this or having issues with that like you do on a lot of units that have inferior construction uh, very strong but it gives you a nice big uh, functional storage compartment that's nicely finished I mean, you can see your water heater on the other side that's nicely enclosed so you're not gonna be snagging that with the, the, the cargo you store plus you have these nice LED lights in the storage compartment so you can see what you're doing at night now the compartment door is a real real good thickness to it it's a slam latch and you can see it's got the magnetic catch so it's a one hand operation open and close and that magnetic uh, catch is just really really handy so if you got something in your hands and you're trying to load your compartment or hit the road just little things like that make a big difference when you're when you're using the unit and you can see here 
we have the silver exterior but it's very thick two inch sidewall dense foam aluminum frame very very strong yet very very lightweight wall construction as you know, it has a nice big awning now this is an upgraded power awning and you can see it's got a cool feature it's really neat at night but you have the led light strip going down the awning and uh, this is a push button operation it runs off of the battery if you need to but you hit the button to extend it you hit the button to re retract it but you can see it gives you a nice big uh, shaded patio space and it really cuts the heat and catches a breeze so it's a very very functional space um, down here we have a heavy duty stabilizer jack now you have one of these on four corners now uh, power jacks are available however the manuals um, you, you know they're gonna last a duration you're not gonna have costly repair or maintenance expenses to consider and most people what they do is they just put a cordless drill on that and run them right down or something the kids can do but cordless drill will zing them right down and uh, you know oftentimes a better way to go when you consider the uh, ownership down the road so looking uh, here at the windows we have the radius windows with the nice deep tent on them and everything's blacked out and if you look behind the window this is something you wouldn't normally look for them I can't really get into focus so good I don't think but these are actually gasket sealed windows so they're not relying on putty uh, um, to seal this window you actually have an automotive style gasket seal plus they have extra protection uh, caulking at the top these units are very well uh, sealed up so that's a very important feature the way they're put together you got to keep water out of them and gasket seal windows are a big upgrade um, plus you can see here looking at the slide room a uh, really nice flapper seal system and these little guys right here you know looking at them you wouldn't have any idea what, what the purpose is but these actually pop your seals out when the uh, room extends so you know you always have a good seal around your slide rooms you don't have to think about it you don't have to check them so a little thing like that kind of like the magnetic catches on the doors that's a big feature it does a big job but it's a little thing now this unit's actually a double slide so it's got opposing slides on the interior and we'll take a look at what that does uh, but these are very lightweight uh, slide rooms these cable slide systems are very smooth they don't require much power to operate and they they've proven to be extremely reliable plus one great thing about them is um, the the motor that operates them it's one motor uh, so you don't have multiple motors to deal with one motor per room and it's on the inside of the unit um, so it's not exposed to the elements on the outside so it's going to help protect it and extend the life of that motor um, looking out on this slide room here, this is where your outside speakers are located. Now these are, are the Furion brand name, which is a, a true RV and actual marine product. Uh, so it's a real nice um, marine grade speaker. Plus they're connected to the entertainment unit on the inside, which is actually Bluetooth uh, connected. So you can play music um, via your phone or tablet through the speaker system and the sound system on the unit and change the music, adjust the volume, all from your phone and tablet because of that Bluetooth uh, stereo system. And uh, you know, down here, if I back up a little bit, we can see it's got the wide tracks suspension. Now you have a really nice separation there between the front axle and the rear axle. And what that does is it gives you more stability, especially and primarily where you need that is when you're on the highway. Uh, when you're trying to get to where you're going it's kind of like standing with two feet together or spreading your feet apart a little bit you get a lot more stability when you have a little bit wider stance so that actually is something that comes into play you wouldn't really know by looking at it but when you're on the highway it's going to improve your stability and help reduce or prevent sway now talking about the wheels and tires these are upgraded automotive style aluminum wheels um, these tires are nitrogen filled and they something very unique they they actually have a uh, five-year warranty against uh, manufacturing defects um, they have a two-year complimentary uh, roadside service so if you have a tire issue they will change out your tire uh, with that complimentary roadside service for the first two years now really also important for the first year they have a no excuses uh, warranty replacement 
uh, policy for the first 12 months. So there's a lot of reasons tires can fail and it may not have anything to do with the tire. It could be road hazards and sometimes it's hard to tell. So that uh, 12 year um, you know, replacement, I mean, I'm sorry, 12 month replacement with the no excuses is a really great feature. Plus the roadside assistance is really big too. Um, if you need it, it's gonna be very, very important. Now looking underneath here, we have the enclosed underbelly. So it protects your underside uh, of the trailer. It encloses your tanks and retains the temperature better. Uh, but also it cuts down on wind drag and turbulence under the unit because the wind uh, doesn't have anything to grab onto. And you can see we have a really nice thick, and it's a really thick actually um, uh, I-beam, you know, powder coated steel chassis. So like I was telling you, this unit is aluminum frame construction. So that's the structure. And then it's actually sitting on a, a really big I-beam chassis, so very strong. And then we have our stabilizer jacks in the rear. Uh, we looked at one of those in the front. And while we're down here, we can see under the slide room and you actually have a really nicely finished uh, floor, slide room floor or underside. And that is a really thick piece of plywood board laminated to uh, a piece of uh, uh, textured plastic for protection uh, since it extends beyond the unit. And we'll take a look at that uh, for the slide room on the inside as well. Now this unit has a cool outside feature right here. They kind of, I think they call it an outdoor party center, which multi-purpose uh, space here. So you have a sink, so you have hot and cold water and that's actually plumbed in. Uh, so that's very important. A lot of your outdoor uh, sinks are not plumbed in, they're just basins. So this is actually an upgraded um, feature here that it's easily overlooked and you wouldn't realize it until you actually go to use it. Either you, it drains into the unit or you, you have a little basin that you have to empty and it's really not usable. Now you have space out here if you want to put a TV. It's got the cable and it's got the power. Plus you have a fridge and you have a pull-out. So if you want to do some cooking outside, if you want to plug in a hot plate or, or something like that, or if you want to you know, make your coffee outside, uh, you have a great place to do that. Now the unit comes with the outside grill and this is the bracket for the grill. So the bracket stays mounted to the, to the steel bumper and then it just unpins and it'll swing around. So you'll have your grill, you have your fridge, you got your sink, you have a TV out there. And then again, you have the magnetic catches, the upgraded compartment doors, slam latches, all that stuff. So let's take a look at this unit, standing back a little bit. And you can see the real nice crown to the roof. You have the black trim, so that's gonna stay looking good with minimal maintenance. Um, you have the extended spouts, which are gonna shoot the water off the side. Now the roof, like I was saying, fully walk on, super strong, uh, upgraded construction, aluminum frame, four inch thick foam, uh, crown on the top, arch on the inside, a lot of upgrades to that roof construction. And uh, it's got the TPO uh, material on the roof. So the TPO does not make the black streaks like the traditional rubber roofs. There's a lot of rubber roofs still out there and as they age, they just make a mess. And you can see uh, the unit just stays clean with the TPO. It uh, doesn't require conditioning or treatment. It's got a 12 year warranty on it, a lot of features. Now on this side, we have our big slide room. So that's a full extension uh, slide. Again, cable slide, very lightweight, very reliable. Two inch thick side walls. Now this is your slide room wall inside and the roof is a laminated component as well to keep the span without sagging. And here we have our detachable power cord connection. So you don't have to deal with pulling or, you know, or feeding the cord back in and getting tangled up and not being able to pull it out. We actually have a hot and cold water outside shower. So it's not just a cold spray pour, it's hot and cold. And this is a really important feature here. And it looks like the city water connection, but it's different. It, it does something completely different. This is your black tank flush. So this actually allows you to basically pressure clean the inside of your black tank, which is the waste tank for the toilet. And if you don't have this feature, there's not a good, easy way to do that uh, maintenance. And you can, you can potentially build up solids in your black tank and really uh, prevent it from being properly utilized. 
So the black tank flush, uh, factory installed, all you have to do is connect a water hose to this. It feeds to the inside of the black tank and, and basically does like a car wash to the inside of the black tank. And it's a big, big help when it comes uh, time for that maintenance. Now here, like I was saying on the other slide, we can get another look at the underside of this full extension slide. We can see our nitrogen filled tires, aluminum wheels, steel I-beam chassis, really nicely finished uh, slide room floor. Deep tent windows, safety glass, you got all the nice black trim, silver body. See our extended spouts up top, CPO roof. All of our slide room seals are just like they should, thanks to these little pieces right there that pop them out into place. And we have the other side of our front storage compartment. Now, and that's our water heater right there, which actually is an upgraded gas and electric water heater. So when you're at the park, you don't have to burn your gas. Uh, you can use your electric, which you're paying for anyway. So we see the real nice front cap there. We're gonna take a look uh, at the inside and show you the features that this unit offers. So we have a full size entry door here and it's actually got the shock, holds itself open and the screen door is a nice feature too. So on a nice day like today, open some windows, open the door, you have your screen door, door props itself open and then it connects there if you want to open them both. So we have a real nice uh, wood plank flooring, easy maintenance, wipe down, sweep out. And then you can see our big slide, kitchen island, lots of counter space, lots of, lots of kitchen storage. Let's see if we can get a good look at this uh, floor plan. We got some backlight feeding in. Just give you a general sweep of the unit. Okay, now here, these are actually some cutaways that I have. This is the roof, look how thick the roof is. So that's what we're looking at when we look at the roof here. And that's what you're walking on when you're on top of the roof. Super thick, super dense. I mean, I can't compress this at all with my hand. Uh, stand on it, same result. Super dense, super strong, yet lightweight. And then of course you have your aluminum framing. So you're a four inch thick vacuum bonded roof. And then here's your sidewall, two inch thick, same thing. I can't compress that. It's just very, very dense yet very lightweight with your fiberglass exterior. So those are a couple big, big structural components. And again, your floor is very similar, not quite as thick, but very dense aluminum frame vacuum bonded foam. So a lot of construction upgrades in this unit make it very strong yet also very light. So it gives you some great floor plans yet keeps the weight down. So uh, this unit here, full size slide room on this side. Now that is actually a sleeper sofa. So it's not the futon uh, or jackknife sofa, it's actually a sleeper. So it's gonna come out into this floor space and that would actually uh, accommodate uh, two adults potentially. Um, where the jackknife sofa is really, you know, one or two kids maybe. Uh, but this is a, an upgraded sleeper sofa that uh, does typically, I mean, if that was an option on a unit, you'd typically be looking at an additional $500 for that option. Now we have the overhead storage. So you have upgraded cabinetry with upgraded pools. You have the supports on them so you can load and unload them without having to hold them up with one hand. And we have lots of nice windows and the pleated nightshades, which are easy one hand operation. And we have our dinette. So that table is a freestanding table. So that table is something that you can actually bring outside if you wanted to use outside. And it folds down and then makes a sleeping surface out of this dinette. So the table will drop down and the cushions will come together. So you have a little extra space again for one or two kids there and potentially two adults on this uh, sofa. So it's got the queen bed in the front, the sleeper sofa here, and then the dinette. So potentially uh, a six person sleeping capacity on this unit. Now you have a really nice large picture window at the dinette. So I mean, it's just something uh, really great views from that dinette. Because when you're camping, I mean, that's kind of the idea. You, you want to be immersed in the outdoors and you can kind of see the views you're sitting there having breakfast having coffee and uh, great views of the outdoors with those large picture windows 
And then also you do have some uh, storage under those dinette seats there. Now we were talking, just want to show you real quick, the slide room floor, we can take a peek at it. It's got a coating on it because of the cut edge, but very, very thick plywood, not particle board. Um, this is a material that's really gonna hold up much, much better than what most products use. Very, very strong uh, for the floor of that slide room. And then up ahead, like I was telling you, it's got the uh, arched roof with the seven foot maximum clearance on it. And the AC goes right through the foam so you don't have an attic to cool down. It doesn't hold heat. So very, very strong roof with the dual rows of ducts. So you got rows on this side and rows on that side. Now your interior lighting is LED. So it doesn't put off the heat and it doesn't use the battery like traditional lighting does. So LED is a big, big upgrade. Now this kitchen, I'm gonna take a look at this kitchen. Lots of counter space, lots of storage. So you have an island, you can see the high rise faucet, it's got the pull down boutique style, style sprayer. It's got a 50-50 split stainless steel sink. You got this island with lots of great counter space. Plus I don't know if you just saw it, it's got some cool LED under uh, counter lighting there. Uh, we got power outlets in the island. So a very functional island with the LED lighting hanging down, decorative lighting and lots more counter space over here. Now these are full extension drawers, 50 pound rated. So you fit a lot of stuff in these drawers. Tons of counter space, over the storage, you have your microwave, you have a nice recessed uh, glass uh, cover so you can use that for more space. You have your light, you have your fan, uh, your exhaust fan fan. It's got a mosaic uh, backsplash back there. Now this is an RV refrigerator, so it is gas and electric operation. So this is your six cubic foot. You have your freezer at the top, and then you have your separate fridge on the bottom. But that is uh, gas and electric operation, not just electric. Now this is really cool. In the front, you have a split or his and her entry to the master bedroom, and your entertainment unit is in the center. So this will accommodate a pretty large TV, as you can see, and out comes with the bracket that's removable. And it's got pocketed doors on either side of the bedroom, so you don't have curtains, you have a big upgrade, you have real, real doors. But the cool thing about this TV is uh, it swivels. So if you're in the bedroom, you can swivel the TV around. You can see, actually see there. So that's a really cool feature. So you have a nice big space for a TV. And you know, when you're in the living space, you can use it in the living space. If you're in the bedroom, you can flip it around to the bedroom and you have the same uh, large TV in both spaces. So that's a really cool uh, feature. Plus you can angle it a little bit if you wanted to. If you want a little bit better viewing angle from the dinette or the sofa, it does that also. And this is your Furion, um, it's a CD, DVD, uh, stereo and it also has a Bluetooth like I was telling you plus if I can get into focus here just so you can see there it's got the USB and auxiliary input ports on it so it's already got the DVD you can add uh, your TV or we can do it here it's just that sometimes it actually makes more sense cost wise to add it rather than to get it from the manufacturer and it's already basically fully prepped for it, as you can see. So that's a really cool entertainment center, island kitchen, lots of kitchen storage, uh, and then you see a great storage unit here. Just a very functional floor plan. You have shelves and more shelves, and you can remove move them if you have some taller items. And then look at these drawers below, huge full extension drawers below. Now walking to the bathroom, this is our thermostat, so just like at home, you set the temperature, it's going to cycle on and off as needed. And like I was telling you, it's got two rows of ducts that go right through the roof and in the bedroom there. Plus, very important, you have AC in the bathroom. Um, this is a big bathroom. If you don't have AC in your bathroom, it's going to hold a lot of heat. It's not going to be very comfortable to use. 
So that's an easy thing to overlook that a lot of units don't have. Now in the bathroom we have LED lighting, we have an uh, oversized glass shower uh, door, we have a uh, sink, hot and cold, we have a medicine cabinet, uh, we have our monitor panel which tells you your tank levels, we can activate our water pump and we can activate our water heater on both gas and electric from this control panel. And we had our outdoor entertainment center on this unit. And above it on the interior just have tons of hanging storage. So you can fold and stack towels, shoes, whatever on the bottom. Plus you have your hanging space above. So a very functional unit. It's got some great outside features uh, and some you know really great interior features with tons of storage, very spacious interior. Extra sleeping capacity thanks to the upgraded high bed sofa and the fold down dinette. And here's a look at it from the back to the front there. So, wood plank floor, complementing decor, color schemes, a darker wood. It's a very nice, rich appearance. And then we have our master bedroom in the front. So we have a queen bed, and you can see we have space in front of the bed. Sometimes the beds are jammed up against the entertainment center. This you actually have space to walk around your bed. We have the full ceiling height in the bedroom. We have some big overhead storage above the bed. Now we have a couple LED lights. I got one of them on there so you can see. LED reading lights, those are push button. Uh, we have some nice hanging space. His and hers on the, either side. We have end tables with power outlet there if you can see it through the light. We have an end table on that side. Again, you have power there for that end table. And we're looking at how the TV spins around. So this is a look from the bedroom. TV spins around. So instantly you have a nice big TV at the foot of your bed when you need it. So really cool features. And then again, your ducted air. You got two vents just for the bedroom and minimal carpet. So great unit, great looking unit inside and out, great floor plan. Uh, the weight is kept down by the upgraded construction. The white track suspension is gonna help it on the highway, re retain stability. Just a lot of cool features. So come down to Tropical RV Sales and US 1 and Fort Pierce and check out this brand new Wilderness Travel Trailer.